So you probably heard a couple of weeks ago that ML.NET got a 1.0 release. And so a few things came with that. Uh, the first thing is now that they're in a version one, uh, there should no longer be any breaking changes uh, and future releases. So it will just be new features and bug fixes uh, from now on to uh, no more breaking changes, which is going to be good. But along with that, they also released this model builder. And what that is, is a Visual Studio extension, which includes kind of a graphical interface tool that you can use to uh, upload your data to and it'll pretty much kind of auto build your ML.NET pipelines for you. So with that, uh, to get started, uh, you just download the, the extension here and I'll have all these links in the description. So, and so just download that, install it, and open Visual Studio. And what you do is just, uh, you can create any kind of project that you want. I'll just create uh, just a regular console project here. On the project, you do add machine learning. And this still will give you kind of a wizard here. The first thing is what kind of scenario that you want to use in mo.net for and just a few of them to choose for and kind of this preview version of the model builder. Uh, you can use regressions, do sentiment analysis on text, or kind of a custom scenario where you can do classification. So I'll do price reduction for regression. And I have a file here and the data that we're going to use is on Kaggle. It's California housing prices. So we can just data that we can use to predict the prices of houses and a specific area in, in California. And I'll select this file. See, it, it preloads everything, headers and all that. It's actually pretty quick too. And I tell it what column I want to predict. And that will be the median income here. And then next step is to train. And here I can preset a number of seconds for it to train. I'll leave it at 10 and I'll just click start training and when I do that just look at this area here in the progress. So you'll see that it's going through all sorts of different algorithms and it's choosing the best one that has kind of the best, in this case the R squared for regression and it's going to kind of auto choose that for us since it, that's what gave us kind of the best, qual the best uh, score. And then in Click on Evaluate, and here it kind of just go through all the different algorithms that it went through and the scores. And I'll click Code, and here I'll click Add Projects, and what you see now in our Solution Explorer is that it added these two extra projects to our solution. One where it actually builds the model for us and trains it. And this one is where it just kind of has all our, our model files here for the input and the predicted output. And what I can do now is I can set this console app as the startup. I can just go ahead and run it. There we go. So what it did is that it took the model that it got from the model builder here. So it, it created the model and then it added it into the and the as a file. And what it did here was it, it was able to find the model in our data and it just took all that, loaded the model, created a sample data from our input that we gave it. And here it loads the, the data from the file and it does a predict on it and that's what it gives us. And you can just kind of use this to kind of get started instead of having to do all this on your own where you set the context and build all the pipelines yourself. You can just use this model builder to kind of give you a good head start and to pre-populate most of this boilerplate code for you. So that's kind of it. I just wanted to show off this model builder, to builder, to model builder tool and I'm pretty sure that they're going to be coming out with all sorts of different features and, and more scenarios for us in the future. So definitely be on the lookout for that. All right. So I'll see you all next time. Thanks.